The Gully family had just recently moved into a small country town. They had relocated from halfway across the country, so had got rid of a lot of their belongings, choosing instead to buy things again as they needed it. Christmas was just around the corner when they decided that they had to purchase new items for celebrating the holiday decorations and things like that. And one thing that Noah, the Gully's eight year old son, and Beverly, their 12 year old daughter, requested was a nativity set to go on the mantle of their new fireplace. It would go perfectly there, the family decided. Mr. Gully was given the task of going down to Mr. Roberts' variety store in hopes of finding what his children had asked for. When he stepped into the store, he stopped in shock. As he looked around, there was every item imaginable everywhere, and it didn't look as if there was any rhyme nor reason to the placement of the displays on the shelves. Mr. Gully wandered around until he came across Mr. Roberts himself towards the back of the store. Hello, new neighbor, Mr. Roberts spoke up. You folks are the ones who purchased the house down on Stratton Lane, I believe. Yes, Mr. Gully responded. News certainly travels fast in this small town. We are really happy to be here. Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Roberts questioned. Well, my family would like to buy a nativity set, if you might have one here. Mr. Gully asked, hopefully glancing around at the chaos. Hmm, a nativity set. I think... Mr. Roberts paused and looked around the shop, scratching his head. Let me take a look. And off he went to the far end of the counter, digging underneath it and then moving on to another location, looking intently... At last, he gave a cry of success and brought out a box that had Nativity Set in big letters written on it. You know, Mr. Roberts chuckled, our motto around here is, we have it if we can find it. Mr. Gully laughed. He soon paid for the purchase and happily brought the set home to his family, and they carefully set it up on their new mantle. It is such a wonderful thing that we don't have to search everywhere for Jesus. We don't even have to search for him as the shepherds did so long ago. Jesus is here all the time. He can always be close to us, as close as a whispered prayer. And if we ask Jesus into our hearts, he will live in us and promises never to leave us. That is something to be very thankful for at this time of year. <laughs>